let's look at exponential growth and decay. So we've been talking about these differential equations. A solution to a differential equation is the original function, that it's its own derivative. The very last lecture, we talked about if we had a constant, so k being a constant, k times y, the change in y over the change in t. Um, typically, in all of our examples, this is going to be change in time. It tells us that the rate of change of y is proportional to y. So k we typically call the constant of proportionality. So the last lecture, I said I will not make you derive this again, but we went through with um, separation of variables, where we separated our variables, and we actually found this solution. We could check that this is an actual solution by taking the derivative. And when we take the derivative, remember the e to the kt, the k comes down. And so to see that this is an actual solution where we see y, we plug in what y equals, and we see the two sides are alike. All right, so this is where you check how do you know that this is a solution to this differential equation. Well, the left side, you take the derivative of what y equals, and then the right side, you plug in what y equals, and you see the two sides are equal, and they are, so this is definitely a solution. So as mentioned, I'm not going to make you derive this again. You're just going to have to use it and know when to use it. You will definitely know when to use it because you'll have your differential equation in this form where you have this constant of proportionality times the value of your function. All right, so that's what this says. Y equals C E to the KT is a solution to this differential equation. And of course, depending on what C equals, okay, the initial value, think about it when I say C is the initial value. Well, if T time, the initial would be zero, then E to the zero would just be what C equals. So based on different values here of C, where my K is positive, so I have a positive value, and versus when I have a negative value. So as you can see, some exponential growth and exponential decay. I want to find the general solution to the following differential equations. This is where I said you will recognize, oh, these are all the k times the function. Every one of these are k times the function. Notice that the variable here is the numerator, which is the function. So they all have this form my constant times my dependent variable. And so I can write the solution for each one of these based on the C e to the kt, where this constant out front, notice, is my k on each one of them. So again, if I know the rate, my differential equation, I can automatically find my original function, my solution, and now use this for making predictions. So here says, um, once again, sees the initial time. A lot of examples you will see these being used as population growth and decay of drug in the body. So it says population P for a region with no immigration or emigration. Nobody's getting in, nobody's coming out. Uh, the rate at which the population is growing is often proportioned to the size of the population. So in other words, larger populations would grow faster. If the population has a continuous growth rate of 2% per unit of time, then we know the rate of growth, so the change in population over change in time, is 2% of the current population. So that's my differential equation. As I can see, I have my constant of proportionality, my 2%, times my dependent variable or my function, which is my population at a particular time. I can already write the solution. So this is the C e to the kt. We typically just match the variables. So the, pop, the initial population, we typically call p sub 0. So the population at time 0. And then e to my kt. And so now I have something that I could use if I know how fast the population is changing. Now I have something that I can actually use to predict future populations. You can do the same thing with quantity of drug in the body. 
the rate at which the drug leaves a patient's body, hence why it's negative, is proportional to the amount that's present, so the quantity at a particular time. And I can write this as a general solution, the initial amount of drug in the body, Q sub zero, and E to the negative KT, because again, this is a decay that it's leaving the body. So in this section, what you're going to do is you're going to see that these are all set up with this proportionality times my function, be able to get the solution, and now use it in our example. So that's where we're going from here.